Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in this morning's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I always comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat the buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about Apple and, sorry about my voice there, Mike Ashley's interest in Sofa.com. So, Apple reported its first drop in profit and sales for over 10 years, following its first quarterly sales forecast cut in 16 years earlier this month. Revenues from China fell by almost 27% in the latest quarter, but only slightly in Europe and Japan, while they were actually up in America. Separately, the company announced a tie-up with US insurer Aetna for a new health app called Attain, which will be available in the next few months. The idea is that the app will track and reward healthy behaviour as well as giving users personalised notifications like when to take meds. The area of personalised healthcare using wearable technology has been identified by Apple as well as other tech companies as a potential area of growth and so this seems to be a move in the right direction. Overall, I think that Apple is entering a period of transition where they are trying to shift revenues away from reliance on hardware to services and software. And the fact of the matter is that it is going to take time. I think that areas like healthcare have huge potential for Apple given the trust in the brand and the user friendliness of their wearables. But there is also an outside chance that handset revenues could increase again if we see a step change in technology and this is possible given the potential advent of bendy phones as I have referred to in the past. The other thing I wanted to mention briefly was the news that Sports Direct Mike Ashley is at it again. Fresh from popping House of Fraser and Evan Cycles into his ever um, uh, bigger shopping basket, he's currently in negotiations to buy HMV and is now taking some time to bid in an auction for Sofa.com that was put up for uh, sale recently. He's in the last two of the bidding and will be up against SCS. And if he wins, it'll be interesting to see what he does with all these retail assets and how and if he will combine them. Other than that, in today's edition of Watson's Daily, I talk about Chinese selling US property assets, a potentially groundbreaking change in the taxing of big tech, PG&E's bankruptcy, turbulence for Norwegian Air, and the latest on Harley Davidson. Vroom, vroom. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.